Hey everybody, so we have a trade to talk about that took place this morning and this is a trade that I did not see coming and it's kind of an odd move as the Washington Capitals and Philadelphia Flyers swap defensemen. Uh, the Capitals trade Matt Niskanen to the Flyers in exchange for Radko Gudis. And, uh, you know, I was, I saw this on, on social media this morning when I was at work and I was just, I, I was shocked. I was like, I, I did not see anything like this coming at all. This is a really interesting move, I think, when you look at it. So, from the Flyers standpoint, you get Matt Niskanen now, who is, you know, in his 30s now, an old, an old, getting to be an older player, but he's still a solid defenseman. He's a good offensive defenseman. He's got more, better skating and puck moving ability, certainly, than Radko Gudis does. So, you know, it, it definitely makes sense from a Flyers standpoint. From a Washington standpoint, um, you've got, you know, you, you've now, you're now, you're getting rid of Niskanen and you're losing his salary. Niskanen makes $5.75 million per year. So this does feel a little bit like this move was made to maybe free up a little bit of cap space uh, because... When you look at it, Philadelphia got the better player. I mean, I like Radko Gudis. I know not many people do. A lot of people love to just, you know, make fun of Radko Gudis and, and really, you know, kind of go in on him. I like Radko Gudis. I think he's a solid third-pair defensive defenseman. He's physical. Um, he, he's, he plays with an edge. He's in your face. I like Radko Gudis a lot. Matt Niskanen is the better player, though. So the Flyers got the better player here. There's no doubt about that. I mean, Niskanen certainly has better offensive potential, certainly has a higher ceiling than Radko Gudis does. But what the, the Capitals are getting with Gudis is more physicality on the back end, which is something I think that they wanted to improve on. And they're freeing up cap space. Gudis' contract is expires one year earlier than Niskanen does, and Gudis is less money. Gudis only makes $3.35 million per year, I believe, and the Flyers are retaining 30% of Gudis' salary. So this definitely opens up a couple million dollars, in, or a few million dollars in cap space for uh, the Capitals. So Really, when you look at it, it, you know, at face value, like Matt Niskanen for Radko Gudis, there's a clear winner here. It's the guy who got Matt, it's the team that got Matt Niskanen. But I think it does, in a way, make sense for both teams because, you know, for the Flyers, they got the better player. They've, you know, they're going in a different direction now. They're trying to get back to being a playoff team after an abysmal season last year. So they bring in Niskanen, who's a good puck mover, who can give you some offense from the back end, and you know is a, is a solid two-way defenseman. And they give up Radko Gudis, who really you know is a third-pair defensive, tough, physical defenseman, and that's pretty much all he is. From Washington's standpoint, you open up that cap space. You get you know the you get a player that's a UFA a year sooner, so that if it doesn't work out, you can just let him go in free agency. And you maybe fill a, a role there that you wanted, you know, that you want to fill. Because really, we all know the Capitals have Tom Wilson up front. But outside of Tom Wilson up front, the Capitals aren't an overly physical team. To, they can hit, but they're not a real tough team. It, they, you know, it's really mostly Wilson. And then obviously Ovechkin and Oshie and those guys can, you know, throw their weight around as we've cer certainly seen but those are your, also your star players. And you don't necessarily want your toughest players to be your star players. So I can see where the Capitals maybe wanted to add some more grit, especially on the back end, where they, other than Brooks Orpik, they really didn't have any of that. Um, and so I can see where, you know, they wanted to bring in some grit some toughness, some physicality, especially on the defensive side, because they have Wilson up front. But now I think that, you know, they could have added to that by bringing in a guy like Radko Gudis, which they've just done. So I think that Gudis kind of fits a role there for Washington, where he's going to fit in nicely, where Washington doesn't need Radko Gudis to be a, you know, great player. 
They need him to be a third line defensive defenseman or a third pair defensive defenseman. And that's that's what he is. He needs to play with an edge. He needs to bring physicality and he can play, you know, maybe 15, 16 minutes a night. And that's fine. That and he fits that mold where, you know, I think for the Flyers, I think they needed someone a little more than that to help them defensively. And Niskanen is a guy who can play, you know, maybe 18, 19, even 20 minutes a night, play on the power play, and give you more offense from the back end and and give you maybe a little bit more mobility, puck moving, to, puck moving type stuff, skating. So I do think that in a way this trade does make sense for both teams. The Flyers got the better player and some and, and improved in an area where they were looking to add on their on their defense and the Capitals got more cap space out of the deal and they filled a physicality third pair defense role that they were looking to fill. So really, I mean at face value, Matt Niskanen is certainly the better player, but I do think that this trade makes sense for the Capitals as well, and I understand their their reasoning behind doing this. So, uh, you know, obviously we'll have to wait and see, you know, how these each player performs for their new teams um, before we declare a winner or anything like that. But uh, I think both guys might fit their respective roles with their new teams very well. And uh, I think they're both good players in, you know, when they're given that role that they mold to. And uh, they both could end up being very successful next season with their new team. So we'll have to wait and see. But a very interesting trade and not one that I saw coming, to say the least, between the Capitals and uh, Flyers today. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. We are on our road to 1,000 subscribers, so let's uh, help get us there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you guys soon.